Good morning. Let's go to the beach. This morning we woke up from our San Francisco boondocking location in Mission District and are heading a few miles down the road to park at Ocean Beach. Our goal today is to explore the Golden Gate Park across the street by bicycle. We hear it's a peaceful place amongst the loud, bustling city. Wherever I go I will always know everything I need is right here with me. It's time to let it all go. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Jacqueline, do you see this dog? <laughs> You're at the beach. You're at the beach. You're so cute, Jixi. Yeah, you. So here we are at Ocean Beach. Nick took Trixie out playing this morning, and now we're gonna grab our bikes and head into Golden Gate Park. There's a lot of activities to do within that park. We're here in Golden Gate Park and we're going to give you guys a little bike tour of everything you can do. There's lots of activities here. You can go to the California Academy of Sciences. They have bison, there's waterfalls, there's meadows, parks, convention centers, lots of things to do. It's roughly half a mile wide and three miles long and there's only I think two roads in here but most bike lanes, people jogging. It's very active, a very pretty park and I highly recommend checking it out if you're in the area. Found an oasis in the middle of the industrial city. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice. We are out here at Stowe Lake now. We're looking for the Huntington Waterfall. We just found the Huntington Waterfall. We're gonna see if we can get a little bit closer. All right, how are you over there? Go around this way. All right, we've locked our bikes up and we're gonna attempt to climb up the top of Strawberry Hill. We're not sure what that is, but we think it's the staircase right here near the base of Huntington Falls. So let's come up the top with us and find out what's up there. Out behind this gate. Water Just keeps going up. It's 
So these oak woodlands here on Strawberry Hill are one of San Francisco's most significant natural resource areas. Because if you take a moment and look around, you'll probably see some butterflies here. This is one of the major places butterflies come to do something called hilltopping. And that's where they will all congregate in a certain area to mate. Might be a little late today to see some, but we'll keep looking because there's lots of flowers around here. Here's something you wouldn't normally think you'd see in San Francisco. There are bison behind me. They were brought here either in the 1870s or early 1900s to help preserve the population. And originally we were told there were six, but I count 10. So there's a couple extra here. It must be repopulating. Now we've seen bison in Arizona and California. Earlier in the day, we were invited to join a drum circle right in front of our parking spot. So Nick grabbed his djembe and we joined the party. If you've never experienced a drum circle, they're noisy, fun, family-friendly events where people come together in order to share their spirit by entertaining rhythmically as a percussion ensemble. This one only lasted until promptly at 9.30 when the SFPD flushed everyone off the beach. It's 11 foot 10. That's the entrance to the bridge. Yeah, that's not gonna work. All right, well I guess we're not making that trip. One way in. Our next boondocking location was just on the other side of the Golden Gate Bridge. And while our first attempt going over wasn't successful, we found another way to cross. The scenic Golden Gate pullout turned out to be a great spot for the night, and not just for us, but to many other van lifers and RVers alike. We crossed the Golden Gate Bridge late last night. As you can see here, this is where we slept. It's fairly quiet, actually, for how many tourists come around here to see the bridge. There's no parking restrictions for overnight parking. There's actually a few other people staying the night here last night. This morning we're having breakfast right outside the Golden Gate. And while it's foggy right now, this morning when we got up, it was a very beautiful picturesque view of the Golden Gate Bridge. Our back door opens up to the little harbor down there, so it's very, very pretty. This is a great spot to stop off the highway. So when you think of San Francisco, the first thing I think of is the Golden Gate Bridge. This is a very iconic spot. People come from all over the world to see this Golden Suspension Bridge. As you can see, this is a really popular lookout spot. You can spend five minutes to an hour here if you wanted to. The fog's really heavy today in the afternoon, but it's not always here. It comes and goes throughout the day. So right now you can't see the bridge. Completely engulfed in fog. Today I think we're gonna head over to Sausalito. It's known as the Italy of California. It's a little lesser known place here in the Bay Area. It's a mix of a fishing town and money. So Nick's never been there. I've been there once. We're gonna go check that out. As you can see, our window faces the Golden Gate Bridge. We had an amazing view for breakfast this morning. But we're doing dishes, we're packing up, and we're getting ready to head to Sausalito now. Don't forget to join us next week in Sausalito as we uncover some pretty neat history behind the floating homes and the houseboat war it took to keep them. Interested in joining our travel crew? 
head on over to our Patreon page and buy us a mile. All proceeds go towards bringing better content to you. Thank you for watching this episode. We really appreciate every view. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you'll never miss another episode. And we'll see you next Tuesday for another adventure.